Uh, today I'm going to show you how to repair your remote. It can be a TV remote, it can be DSTV remote explorer, it can be HD remote. I'm showing you how to repair the remote. Basically, a remote got uh, the problem of dust. More we use a remote, the dust get inside the keypad and then it damage your remote. So uh, before you repair your remote, check the battery at the back of the at the back of the remote you're gonna open it and then you see a battery is basically 1.5 volt remote battery so always check if your battery is working but before i show you how to repair the remote i'm going to show you how you can test your remote using your cell phone if you have a cell phone like this one uh, having the back camera you can use it to check if yourself your remote is working how do you do it you take your remote and then you're going to point the, 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 the sensor of your remote to your camera like this. And then you see the reaction of the infrared. Check. And then let's see. Let me press the remote. And then you see what's going to happen. Now see that the infrared is showing. Showing that the remote is fine. So if you press the button on your, your phone like this and the infrared is not showing, meaning that uh, your remote is not working. Okay. That is the easy way of testing your remote okay so this remote is we're gonna take out this remote and this one put it aside and to repair your remote is basically to check uh if it's dirty because most of the time is the dirty will stop your remote to work so what you do you have to open your remote you take out and you this one there's no battery you need to have a screwdriver like this one you open it you open it and uh, and then to remove here is a little bit tight. You can use a knife or something just like this one. And you put it there. You put it there like this to open it. To open it. You have to open it before you can get inside the motherboard, okay? And be careful so that you cannot break, break your remote. You're going to open it. Yeah, the remote is open. This is a spring for the for the battery, and uh, you can see. Check check the board of this remote. This is a DSTV remote. You can see there's a something like oil, like water, like uh, coffee. It could be maybe water damage, and so so that's what actually make the remote not to work. Because we got a motherboard here with conduct conductive uh, circuit on it, so. What we need to do here, we can do a visual inspection. So most of the time, check the spring of the battery, if it's well soldered here, and then you can check the sensor, yeah, the LED. If it's not having the loose contact here, if it doesn't have a dry joint, and then you can check uh, IC. So if you check, if you check, uh, your circuit board and then you see a dry joint here you have to use an iron like this so that you can do the soldering on the dry joint check any dry joint there if you got a dry joint you can solder it with uh, your soldering iron okay most of the repairing of the remote if it's not a dry joint if it's not the led or the ic whose damage is to clean the circuit board and the keypad so for the keypad like this you can see the dead see the dead here on the keypad you can see the dead on the keypad so we're going to do the cleanup so that the, our remote can work properly so here we're going to use the brush stick to do the keypad to the cleanup here and then we're going to use it as well to do the cleanup you can do also you can just take it you can take this part not this one you can take this part and go and wash it with soap and then just mind about the keypad you can wash it with soap so that you can remove all the dirt yeah 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 and then if you don't have a soap what you can do you can use your teeth brush and use this one uh, is a spirit is a normally spirit you can use your spirit and then you just do a cleanup if you don't want to use it on the on the you can use the cleanup you use the cleanup here so that you can take out the dirt okay you use the cleanup to take out the dirt because that's the one who make your keypad not to work fine but you can also use 
a water and soap to clean all to wash all this dirt which I usually normally use because when I use this you have to do it and then if you use the water and soap for this part not the secret box for this part you have to dry it so we use this and you can clean up the cat gently so that you cannot break the the keypad okay you do the cleanup like this you do the cleanup gently i'm going to make another video to show you how to protect your remote so that you can get this dirt but this one i'm showing you how to maintain your remote at home because all the time we do we don't actually realize that when we are using in our remote sometimes we got food in our hand sometimes is the water we're going to pour on the remote maybe the coffee we are having or the food will drop on the on the remote and when the time goes on the remote is not working anymore and then our remote is not working this is the same for any remote it can be the remote for the tv it can be the remote for dstv it can be the remote for your sound system as long as you got to keep it on your remote it's the same procedure how to maintain them okay so uh, the best way is for you to clean it up like this and this this side also you got a keypad you got the pad here it have also an electronic system there so this one after you wash like this i advise you to clean up you can use something like this to clean up to clean up that is the easy way to clean your remote because we need to clean up clean up clean up uh, that's why I said to you, you can wash this one. You can use the soap and water and wash it. When you use the soap and water and wash it, what you do, you're going to let it get dry. Okay? But now, I'm using this to remove the spirit nicely. So, I need to do this and make sure it's okay. We can use something like this to do the the clean out of the keypad. So what we're gonna do, we clean it, we clean it, we clean it, clean it, all of them. If you don't have a spirit, you can use the alcohol. You clean all the, the button like this. Remember, I said this one, you can wash it with the soap. After washing with the soap, you have to clean each, each button like this and get it dry as well. So guys, this is how you clean your keypad and this one so you can watch this one so we go back to the main board this is the main board and you must be very careful to clean this one because you can see there's a secret board here if you use a strong spirit or you use a strong uh, alcohol it may remove your secret board so i advise you here to use the tissue you're going to put a little bit of your spirit on your tissue make sure you don't actually uh, clean it hardly because you may remove it so gently you take out the dirt on your board gently don't make it so hard because you can actually damage your secret board okay so just clean it up clean it up now we cannot see again those water or those oil on the on the board so this my dstv remote the board is very clean clean up now it's clean up now and as you can see here i can now uh, put back together my board and the keypad and then i'm sure that i have already serviced my remote so that is the way you can service your remote it can be your dstv remote your tv remote your sound system remote anyway that will go inside the button go and sit in this board and stop your remote to work that is the first thing or the sensor who communicate with your item got a dry joint that is the second step after clean it you check your dry joint and then beside your dry joint you can have the main secret was damaged on that case you have to buy another remote okay so uh other is dirty or other the keypad is not working or you have a dry drain on the component or the IC actually is damaged so on the tap option where the IC is damaged I will advise you to buy another remote and you can have also the battery which is not good 
because battery after some time it loses its uh, power so we're going to put back our keypad on the hole we're going to put the, back the keypad here we put back the keypad we put back our keypad nicely on the on the cases and then after we put our keypad back we make sure our main board is sitting properly and then the, the first step we're going to close we're going to close it and then we just need to press like this just need to press it like this yeah okay after i put everything together the keypad is back on these cases i close it and what i do i need to put the screw back i need to put back the the screw holding the cases and then i put the screw back and then i'll put the 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 battery the remote can get damaged because the battery is not working so most of the dstv remote will have a light on it so when you press your remote it doesn't respond in you press your remote the light doesn't come on you can still suspect it. so let's see now i'm pressing it and then we can see the light is here on the on the remote showing me is responding the button the res button is responding my name is alphonse foku uh, i beg you I will advise you to join the community by subscribing and activate the notification bell so that you will not miss my next upload of next week. Guys, subscribe. And as I have said, if this video was helpful for you, you know what to do. I'll see you in my next video. Take care.